I've cast on onto the needle using, of course, my favorite long tail method with too long a tail. Let's just tie that up into a knot. I'm always overestimating, but I would rather have too much than too less, too little. What you want to do is split the stitches in half. So I slide them down onto the cord and I've got 24, so I'm gonna count off two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and pinch the cord. See, this is why you need a really bendy cord. And slide half and half up onto the bodies of the needles. If I'm going to work a project like this for travel, this is not something I do whilst I'm in motion. I will set this up when I'm at home, uh, just so that I can make sure that it's joined correctly and I'm comfortable with it. I've divide, divided it half and half here, and working yarn on the back, I'm gonna check to make sure that I don't have a twist, but remember it can be fixed with this too, so not something you need to worry about too much. So I'm set up this way, Working yarn hanging off the back. I'm going to pull the rear needle out. And do you see how I'm sort of squishing them together? I find that quite helpful actually when I'm doing my first join. I'm going to let my working yarn and my tail yarn drape over the needle. That just saves the yarn getting wrapped around the needle. One of my I will confess one of my little challenges with Magic Loop is that the yarn can get caught around the needle so that can be a bit frustrating but if you make sure it's not connecting with that needle, you're probably gonna be okay. And again, I'm just gonna knit the first stitch with both the working yarn and the tail to tidy up that join. I let that go. And then I just knit and you're joined and that's it. And you're set up, simple. And if you're nervous about a twist, just work across the first side and check four the twist and fix it. Easy, magical. Again, when I'm working on Magic Loop, I do like to return to the home position just so I can see things. This is better for storing too, is what I will do is I'm stuffing into my knitting bag like that, just so it's less likely for the needle to get pulled out of the stitches. If the loop gets caught uh, on the door of the car, it can pull out of the stitches. Ask me how I know. Working on two circulars is essentially the same thing as you've seen, and the setup is essentially the same thing. What we do is we split the stitches. We move half of them onto our second circular. Four, five, six, and I'm slipping them purlwise. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, I always use this as an opportunity to double check that I have the right number of stitches cast on. Now I'm set up and it is essentially like Magic Loop. I'm gonna hold those together. And in this case, I just move my front needle into knit position and pull the yarn from the back. When you're working on both two circulars and Magic Loop, the, the trick to make it easy and comfortable and to reduce ladders is to make sure that the side you're not knitting is on the cord, is on the bendy part. If the side you're not knitting is sitting on the hard part of the needle, on the body of the needle, then you'll find it just that much more difficult to work. This depends on the bendiness of that. And that's it. So, small circumferences in the round, double pointed needles, magic loop, two circulars, knitter's preference, it all comes out the same. You've still got a sock when you're done.